Two at 11, a statue depicting a heroic 1600s era Indian ruler was recently sawed off its post and stolen from a public park in San Jose. But the good news, more than a week after its disappearance, the statue was found today. ABC 7 News reporter Amanda Del Castillo details what happened and what comes next. At Guadalupe River Park in San Jose, a look at what crooks left behind. After sawing off the 440-pound statue of Indian ruler Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. The statue, a gift to residents of San Jose from its sister city of Pune, India. I think there's absolutely no reason for somebody to steal it except uh, wanting to sell it for some material. And it's quite uh, stupid, but maybe not. Uh, people need money all the time. Sunil Kelker is the president of the San Jose Puna Sister City Organization, a group that has worked to strengthen ties between the municipalities. And on January 31st, a shock to both communities and beyond, learning it had been stolen from atop this five foot concrete slab. To cut the three legs with a huge saw, it made a lot of noise, which nobody heard, I guess, at night. And it was a 400 pound statue for two, three people to lift it up, put it in your trunk. I mean, put in a truck and then drive it away. That was quite an effort for such little money, which they didn't get anywhere. City officials sharing these earlier photos, saying they're unclear of the exact metal the statue was made of, adding it may be bronze coated. The city's Parks, Recreation, Neighborhood Services Department, following the theft of the statue, contacted uh, metal and foundry shops in San Jose to report the theft to make sure that if it was, um, you know, showed up at their, those locations that they would be aware of the theft. But a breakthrough early Thursday by our media partners at the Mercury News. It was the great work of a reporter that actually uh, resulted in the the location of the statue. Joseph Hedges, the city's international relations manager, says there is certainly plenty of work ahead to determine what repairs are needed, whether it could be reinstalled, and what security measures should be considered. So it's not a very safe place for a statue to be there. So we are wondering where we can keep it covered or protected or somehow like that. For now, the statue is with SJPD. The department says there is no suspect information, though the crooks could potentially face grand theft charges. In San Jose, I'm Amanda Del Castillo, ABC 7 News.